Good morning, Greenspring. Today is Monday, April 29. I'm Elka Martin, your host. And those of you who know me know that volunteering and volunteers are close to my heart. And so I am very excited to celebrate National Volunteer Month with you today. And I have two guests in the studio. Next to me is resident Claire Manger. Good morning, Claire. Good morning. And Yvonne Ando, volunteer coordinator at Greenspring. Good morning. So it, as I said, it's National Volunteer Appreciation Month. And this year was special for you, Claire, wasn't it? We celebrated you for what? 4,000 volunteer hours. At Greenspring, not at over your lifetime, but <laughs> at Greenspring, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yes, that's pretty special. Yeah. Yes, 4,000, yes. And what have you done to, to fill those 4,000 hours? Well, the first one was um, the library, library yeah. committee, and I do things in the, in the library. Uh-huh. And that was, that probably, uh, when I first came here, spent most of the time. But then uh, crochet at two different groups. Oh, One yes. Used to be uh, Marine Navy Relief Society, and they'd send us the yarn, uh -huh. and we'd make baby blankets and send it back to them, and they'd give it to the families of Navy and Marine families. That's right. I remember but that. We, we stopped that a couple of years ago because they stopped sending us yarn. Also, there's a handiwork, well, we, we now call that the handiwork people, and we, we crochet or knit at 3 o'clock on Wednesdays uh -huh. in the lobby of a town center. Yeah. And there's about six of us doing different handiwork. Uh, but I I work on a shawl pretty much. It used to be lap robes. Mm -hmm. I've done a lot of and uh, the baby blankets. But then I also uh, crochet on Thursdays. We're there in the craft room in town center from uh, twelve to two. We yeah. don't always come at twelve. We don't always stay till two. Mm -hmm. But we get our volunteer hours in there, crocheting, uh -huh. knitting, yeah. most of them and. They make things to sell in the bazaars, yes. and that money goes back to scholarship fund and all of the philanthropy yes. ones. Yes, benevolent it goes care back, probably it also. It goes back to, yes, it goes back to Greenspring mm -hmm. uh, things. That's wonderful, and I remember so. years when your group, you, I no, remember particularly yeah, you your were, Thursday group, yes, where you, you knitted and crocheted. For Garden Ridge. For Garden Ridge, exactly. I still, you still I do, do that? my shawl, I still do my, I took one to yes. Yvonne <laughs> last week, a uh -huh. shawl. Yeah. Um, yeah, because people who live in Garden Ridge can always use another shawl absolutely. and another lap robe, it's I remember, right? for air right? conditioning or <laughs> Yeah, winter. too hot, too cold, too yeah. drafty, too something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I also am part of the computer lab. Oh, what do you do there? Well, mostly I, I go to get the copy paper from the executive office to take the computer lab yeah. and make, make sure that the printers have paper ah. but I I used to help people that would come in and they w weren't sure what to do of course I had to learn yeah but uh, mostly I do the I take a few hours yeah <laughs> a, to keep a month it running to keep the uh, copy paper in there uh -huh. and of course treasure chest and of course, a lot of us are saying now treasure chest is closed and they're losing $1,000 a week. It's really it's a very problem. Sad. I know it's an issue. Very sad. They're losing $1,000 a week. So you we say they're also probably losing volunteers because, as I recall, volunteers are there to volunteer. They want to be active. And if the treasure chest is closed, they may go elsewhere, right? So, so we'll see how that goes. That and, and, um, I was just one other thing I do. I forget what it is. Well, you right do a now, lot, it seems. But that's yeah. how I got the four thousand. Yeah, I guess you have to do a lot to get to four thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so since I've been here fourteen years, mm -hmm. a nineteen, nineteen. 19 right? I forget. <laughs> Where does the fourteen come from? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a long time. So it adds up. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Yes. And one of the things, Yvonne, I'm sure that you've encountered people who volunteer, volunteer for their own reasons, but 
so it helps somebody else, right. but it also helps them oftentimes, it's doesn't absolute, it? Yes. Well, you meet these friends. Uh huh. You connect with everybody. That's right. Whatever yeah. you're doing, and so yeah. that's mm -hmm. that's why I do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really important. Because my family live in Florida yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, so you do it for the social aspect. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's so important as we get older and right. lose some of our own friends to connect to other people mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it brings a lot of delight in you. Like it makes you feel good being able right. to be a helping hand um, to support other people. Right. You know, just volunteering your hours and just right. reaching out to help somebody who might need that help. That's right. Yeah. 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 As we stop being part of the work world, we're still looking for purpose and meaning, Absolutely. right? And that also comes through volunteering. Yes. I said, Absolutely. you can play so much bridge. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I used to say you can play so much bingo. Same, same idea, yeah, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I have a question about the computer lab. It may not, <laughs> do you get trapped here I because you got know. an award? No, but um, you used to uh, collect, um, Cartridges, ink. used ink yeah, cartridges. Yeah, they stopped that. Ah, they, they stopped, stopped that. that. Mm. Yeah, so they used to have a container. That's right. I remember that. And now you do they what don't, with they your don't want, used ink? I have no ink. idea, but oh. they don't take it anymore. Oh, no. okay. So you're not in charge of that. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> well, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> so there were more people this year, Yvonne, who there were got four the um, there Lifetime were, Award? Yes, there mm -hmm. were four residents who had 4,000-plus um, hours for the year 2008. And of course, we did recognize them um, during the Volunteer Presidential Award. Uh -huh. um, so it, w it was just an honor to meet them, to know exactly what they do, not only at Green Spring, but outside of Green Spring, volunteering their hours, you know, putting in hours um, here at Green Spring and outside of Green Spring campus mm -hmm. as well. Can you tell us a little more about the the National Volunteer Appreciation Week and the so, big award? What, so pretty what much the means? award in the week is, you know, recognizing and just um, appreciating our volunteers for, you know, the work that they do, the hours that they do put in. Um, so aside from maybe just, you know, saying verbally thank you for what you do, we like to recognize all our volunteers um, here at Green Spring, you mm -hmm. know, having a big award celebration. And I know that for this year, we had um, an outside guest supervisor, um, Heredy, who is also also familiar with Green Spring right. and then Fairfax, he came in to also thank our volunteers for the many hard work and dedication that they yeah. put in and the, and the hours. And I know for 2018, um, our volunteers put in over 65,000 hours, mm -hmm. which is a lot. Was a lot of Absolutely, hours that yeah. you know, so mm -hmm. it's just a way to say thank you and to appreciate our volunteers daily for all that they do constantly. Yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. It's a good program. It and is. as I recall, it's a national program. Uh -huh. So yes. it really has some standing and some meaning right. beyond Greenspring, Absolutely. you know, to, to achieve well, we that level of lifetime. Well, I got a pin, the mm -hmm. presidential award yes. pin. I don't have my, <laughs> I have it on my badge. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you have a whole collection of pins. Too. Well, I gave a lot back lifetime. so they could use it. I gave a lot back so they could use them over. Again. Good, good. We certainly <laughs> love <the> recycling. recycling. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you also met with the other lifetimers, right? Did you oh, have a did special they? event for that? Yeah, it was so a big yes. luncheon mm -hmm. party. Uh huh. And, we and got, that's where Mr. Harrity was? We got this was? big certificate yes. I yes. put out on my shelf for a while. That's lovely. Presidential <laughs> yeah. Award. Yeah. 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 And it yes. does make you feel special, doesn't right. it? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, not, that, well, not that that's why you volunteer, mm -hmm. but it does. Yes, and I feels knew good, the first it? person that got one. I, mm -hmm. I've been here long yes. enough. I've yeah. He was the only one for a long time, but then Jack Gotti was the first that's one. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He came before all of these lovely volunteers who are exactly. here right now doing the camera work. That's right. And helping us and put he, this show on. And that's how he got his hours. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I remember that it was uh, 12 years back when, wow. when the mm -hmm. uh, Lifetime Award 
program was started right. here. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. So you are in big, following big shoes. Or yeah. Oh, is that what they yes. Say? Yeah. There's so <laughs> many. Some of our pioneers, we yeah. call them, mm -hmm. are, have also received this award. And, you know, if you say you've been here 19 years, then you may be one of the pioneers. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, because it's 20 years old. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, sorry. But Close I know the it. pioneers. One year they're, short. Yeah. They're, yeah. yeah. They're mm -hmm. My friends, yes. Do you have anything else to add, Yvonne? Um, so, you know, as you said, Volunteer Week, um, we are always, you know, appreciative of our volunteers. That's right. Um, not just you this know, week. Not just this week, every day, you know, for the mm -hmm. hours, you know, when you sit back and just being able to observe the many hours people put in, not because they want recognition, but because it gives them meaning, it gives right. them purpose, right. and always doing that with a, with a cheerful heart. I appreciate that all the time, you know, because mm -hmm. I see it not only here in independent living, but in Garden Ridge. Absolutely. You know, volunteers come in there to yeah. support, to help our residents, you right. know, if it's just willing them to the beauty salon, taking them out for a walk, taking them to the dining room. Right. So all of those Or hours, bringing them a new lap robe. Absolutely. <laughs> bring them a shawl over to Garden Ridge. Yeah. It's very um, appreciated. Yeah. Um, and we thank all volunteers for the yeah. many wonderful wonderful works that they do consistently. Yeah. So I appreciate you coming in today and again um, congratulations to you Claire <laughs> and no, thank, thank you, you for all you do thank and you. keep up keep the good doing work. It. Yes. yes. Absolutely. absolutely. We keep going every day. Get out day. of the apartment. <laughs> That's right. right. That's right. right. Yes. Yes.